Today I'm going to show you how to set up Mailgun in the high level software. This is something that I really struggled with at the start. It's actually fairly simple but if you get a couple of things wrong um, then it won't connect properly um, and I want to show you today how to do it without any problems. We're going to fly through this. What you're going to need is you're going to need your high level software open. You'll need, you'll need to uh, create an account and sign in to Mailgun and you're going to need to sign into your uh, domain name hosting. Uh, in this video it's going to be GoDaddy because that's who I use um, and we're going to be changing some DNS settings in there. Like I said it's all fairly straightforward. So we're in the high level software we're going to scroll down hit settings then we've got SMTP Mailgun Services and you can see down here that I've already got this one connected and that's the one that I'm going to show you guys today um, but we can you're going to click on add a, a new service you're going to select a provider and it's going to be other you're going to give it your name and I'll, I'll click over just move my face out of the way um, you're going to click over and it's going to bring up this page so you're going to call it Mailgun and this stuff we're going to get to in a minute so once you've signed into Mailgun um, you've created your account you're going to be in the overview page uh, sorry no you know you're not you're going to be in the dashboard um, and you're going to go to sending click on sending you're going to go down to domains and you're going to first off you're going to add your domain so you just add a new domain it's going to you want to use a subdomain they always recommend using a subdomain so you can use mg.mydomain.com whatever you want to do you can add that in um, and then once you've added that in you're going to go down to the main settings and you'll see up here mine is mail.cjbconnect.com you can select any of yours from the list any of the domains that you've added on the previous page uh, you're going to be in the domain settings we're going to go over to DNS records now and you can see these all ticked here this is because I've previously done it and the way we're going to do that is to verify the DNS settings um, that may take um, a couple of minutes, a couple of hours, um, but usually it's pretty straightforward. So the first ones we're going to add, we've got to add a couple of text records, then we've got to add a couple of MX records and a C name record in our DNS settings. So you're going to go and log in to your hosting account in this uh, video, it's GoDaddy. You're going to go to your products, find the domain that you're setting up, you're going to hit that domain and we're going to go and scroll down once it loads up we're going to scroll down and find manage DNS we're going to hit that that is now going to take us through to the domain manager the DNS manager and this is where we're going to add our records in so, so the first ones you're going to do are your text records so we're going to find them. Like I said, I've already set this up in the past. I don't use it anymore. I actually use uh, Amazon SES, which are simple email services. There's a couple of reasons I use that. One of them is because it's incredibly cheap. Now, the great thing with high level is because you don't have to pay these services like Active Campaign and Get Response and all those um, for drag and drop email builders. You can do that all within the high level software. Um, you only need a platform like this, so even Mailgun is, is far, far cheaper than any of those services because it's just a sending platform rather than a drag and drop builder as well. So we're going to find the uh, text records, which we've got here, and they are going to be these two here. So you can see that what you want to do, you're going to add a text record. Sorry, this... Uh, you just hit the button down here you're going to select the type you're going to select text obviously I'm not going to do that because I've already done it so I'm going to click on the ones that I've already put in here so we head back over to Mailgun you're going to take just the first section so just the the subdomain part of the host name you're going to copy that in to the host uh, and then the text value is going to be this value here so we're going to copy all of that you can hit this button here copy all of that to your clipboard 
then you're going to come across you're going to paste this into text value and we're going to hit save that's nice and simple then you're going to find the other one this one right here so mx uh, key and we're going to do the same on that you're going to add add another text record and then you can see all of this data we've got in here again you're going to copy this highlighted section here we're going to copy that into the host and then you're going to copy the text again just hit the button copy all of that text into your clipboard paste that into there save job done um, then we're going to move on to the mx records so now we've got our mx records in and you can see again the mx records are up here so you've got an mxb and an mxa and again it's the same thing you're going to copy just the subdomain part off the front you don't need to copy this whole domain just the subdomain bit at the front we're going to paste that in or you can just type it in and then you're going to copy each one of these you're going to copy one of these the mxa to start with we're going to paste that or mxb sorry we're going to paste that in give it a priority of 10 save and we're going to do exactly the same for the other one but that's going to be the mxa record so we've then got the mxa mxb then you want to add a C name record. So we're going to go and find the C name record, which is email.mail. So although this is highlighted at the front here, we want the email.mail part of this domain, and that is going to be our host. We're going to copy that in, and it's just mailgun.org, which is copied from here. Put that in, save again. And it is that simple, that's done. Then what you're going to do is you're going to hit this verify DNS. You can see it all loading up at the side here. And this is where I had issues when I first started because I, I wasn't sure what to copy and paste in the host, uh, et cetera, et cetera. And, and I kept coming up with errors. Maybe that's what you've experienced as well. Hopefully after this video, you won't experience that. And you can see how simple it is. Now, once we've done that, we're going to go over to high level software and again this is where you've added your domain so you've called it this then you want this smtp server what where are you going to find that you're going to find that in the mail gun and we're going to go to smtp credentials and here is all this information so we're going to copy and paste this smtp.mailgun.org that is going to go into your smtp server the port number you can see there's a couple here that you can choose from 25 5 8 7 and 4 Six, five. I don't think there's any issues with using any of them. It's up to you which one you want to use. Then you've got the username. That is here. Your login details. You're going to copy and paste that across into there. Then the email. It's the email that you want to use. So you're going to. It says down here. This is an example of what you want to use. So. We're using mail.cjbconnect.com here, so you're going to put something like uh, like I've done. I've put charlie at as the email. Put that into that section, and then to get your password, you're going to hit reset the password. You're going to copy that password onto your clipboard, and you're going to paste that in. I'm not going to do that process, and then we're just going to hit save, and that is it done. It's all signed in um, and you're ready to go. You can start uh, firing off emails using the Mailgun service. And like I said, it's a great service, uh, really good to get started with. You get like 6,000 emails for free every month with that service, unlike a lot of the uh, drag and drop email builders. You know, they're, they're, that's you know you can have that free account and you can start sending them emails without any further cost. This is great great way to to start your business using the high level software so i hope this video has helped if it has please hit the subscribe button um, i'm gonna do another video on the amazon ses how to set that up because that can be quite tricky um, i believe you get three attempts to apply for that with amazon if you don't you get locked out for life so i'm going to do a video on that to help you guys if you're interested in using amazon ses and i'm going to give you some examples of why i now use that rather than mailgun as you can see, I've got Amazon, and that is what I use at the minute um, because it's much, much cheaper, so cheap.
to use you basically pay per email and it's like tiny tiny amounts um, it's far cheaper than any other service um, and once you've set it up another great service um, to use so if you haven't got started with the high level software yet you're starting your business or you're looking into getting high level then please feel free to hit the link below this video in the description there that will take you through to the high level website and you can find out a lot more about how it is such a complete package it really is it's going to save you time and a lot of money because you don't have to buy all these other software programs like i said and pay out huge amounts of money for all these different segregated uh, programs when you can have it all combined into one and also um, if you want some more help setting up your accounts if you've got problems with setting up the high level whether it's setting up your email campaigns um you know uh, anything like that your funnels i've done some videos on that so please um again hit the subscribe button go and check out my channel because there's some videos in there and i'll put a link above um to my high level tutorial on building funnels so feel free to go and hit that and again uh, just reach out to me if you want any more help uh, put a comment uh, in the comments below um, let me know anything that you're struggling with with the high level software or you can always send me an email my email is in the description below so thanks for watching guys i'll catch you on the next one